Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Uh, good morning, Jake. Good morning. And Nathan's back. It's Tuesday. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning. All right. Uh, you guys ready for the flag salute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And take it away, Jake. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. Uh, uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, fellas. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hopefully, uh, everybody had a nice, long three day memorial weekend. Uh, did you guys do anything fun this weekend? Uh, yeah. Okay, what'd you do? What yeah. was one thing that was fun? What was it? Well, we were in the pool a lot and we played, and then I'm oh, forgetting. I, I know we have that. I'm forgetting something. Okay, well, pool, but, pool, yeah. Fun enough, right there. I was in a pool yesterday. How about you, Nathan? Yeah. One thing that you did this weekend, what was so fun? Um, swimming and barbecuing. Yeah. And you know what? It's going to be hot. It was hot this weekend. It's getting even hotter. Highs in the low 90s, but should be close to 100 later in the week. So um, everybody try to stay cool and get outdoors early. Uh, I, today is Tuesday, and I know that uh, uh, we have a special guest that's joining us in just a minute. Before we get to our special guest, uh, why don't we go to the virtual comment box. Nathan, take it away. Here's a shout out. I would like to give a shout out to my friend Logan, and that's from Tyler in room 31. Nice. Thank you, Logan. Uh, boys and girls, if you want to get recognized, just be a good friend like Logan. You never know. Someone like Tyler might be recognizing you on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Okay. Here's a joke. What you. sea creatures like to add? What sea creatures like to add? Not subtract. Which ones like to add? Jake? I don't know. An octopus. An octopus. Who wrote that? Ella in room 29. Thank you, Ella. Okay, here's a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Miss Wright for calling out our names during her dance class and making us feel feather. To my sister Josie in the first grade and Roy for being the best friend ever. Jackson in room 32. And Josie in room 11. Okay, Jackson in okay. room 32, Josie in 11. Shout out to Miss Ray doing a great job with dance as always. Thank you guys. And your final one there, Nathan. It's a joke. Two pickles fell out of the jar onto the floor. What did this, what did one say to the other? So let me see if I got this straight. Two pickles fell out of the jar onto the floor. What did the one pickle say to the other? Jake, any ideas? Mm, no. Nathan? Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. We fell on the floor. Deal with it. It's Don't cry over spilt milk or spilt pickles. Nathan, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that wrote in for the uh, virtual comment box. Uh, we're just doing four today because we do have a special guest, everybody. Um, we have more than one person retiring. So remember, Mrs. Lay, uh, we had her on Friday. Uh, we have a couple of other staff members that are retiring. We have one joining us now. Let's bring her in. And so this, let's see when her screen pops up. This is Mrs. Deborah Field. Hello, Mrs. Field. Good morning. Oh, let's see. I got you on mute. There, there you are. Oh, good, good morning, morning, Mrs. Field. How are you? I'm well, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Jake. Good morning. Perfect. So uh, I was just telling everybody, Mrs. Field, before we brought you on, that uh, uh, we do have a few staff members retiring uh, at the end of this year. Very sad for us. Uh, Mrs. Field is somebody who's been at the school since 1988. So she has been at the school for 32 years, uh, servicing the carpenter community and working with children and working with the staff. Has got a great deal of experience at our school. All three of her children attended Carpenter, and that's actually how she started volunteering in the late 80s. She actually made a quilt that was auctioned off at the very first, what we used to call dinner dance, we call that now the gala, 
Uh, she made a quilt for that first dinner dance and then went on to uh, the planning committee for that gala dinner dance for many years. So much of the fact that in 2000, she was recognized by PFC uh, for all of her dedication and all their contributions to PFC and the gala over the years. Uh, she didn't just stay a volunteer. She started working at the school as a TA in the mid 90s. She went back to a college and got an additional degree and started working with our special education students, I believe in 1998, does that sound right? Yes. And, uh, and ever since then, she has been working in our special ed uh, department and servicing kids. I can tell you from my personal experience, there is nobody on campus that loves children more, that is more compassionate, that is more caring and loving with all the children in our school than Mrs. Deborah Field. So Mrs. Deborah Field, it's an honor to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> and so what I want to do is, since we talked about uh, all this history, uh, I, I want to show a little slideshow and have you talk about some of these pictures. How'd that sound? Uh oh. And see, this happened to me once before. Uh, I, now I can't find the slideshow. Why, why is that? Uh, uh, so, Mrs. Field, uh, this, I can't understand. Share. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, stop. Okay, here, stop sharing. Oh, darn it. Uh, I'm not seeing my slideshow. What do you guys see on your screen right now? Well, we, I see you. Okay, so Firefox pages, whiteboard. Uh, oh, dag nabbit. Uh, Mrs. Field, uh, why don't you start talking about uh, your, wait, here we go. I think this is going to be it. You, uh, are you seeing that now? No, sir. Okay, how about, how about, here we go. I figured it out. Okay, uh, there it is. So, okay so let's do that. Talk to us about this picture. Uh, that's the Walkathon, and that was, I was on the committee for the first Walkathon uh, because they had candy sales and we wanted to do something more healthy for the kids to fundraise, so we started a Walkathon, uh, my friends and I. This is not the first one, this is one, uh, I guess, probably uh 15 years ago or maybe 12 well, and you know why i love this picture because looking at this little boy's face it kind of summarizes <laughs> how all children felt working with you over the years look at oh, look at the face you. on this little guy <laughs> he's, he's an all-time favorite friend yes <laughs> okay, okay now, let's go back now to the 80s this is the 80s yes this is being um these are my dear friends Faye Kobashigawa, sherry myers a lot of teachers you'll know them uh that's me uh, we were fifth grade liaisons. We were room parents together. We were pregnant together for our youngest. Uh, we all started back in 88 and we're very close friends still today. We have lunches regularly, birthday parties, holidays, uh, and our sons are still friends. So it's really great. You'll make wonderful friends at Carpenter. We're lifelong wow. friends. And this is us being fifth grade liaisons. Uh, the kids were taking the trip to Washington in those days. And uh, we made these t-shirts and we were the ones selling the ice cream and wrapping paper and doing all of that fundraising. All the fundraising to make that trip happen, huh? That's right, yes, sir. Uh, Halloween carnival. Back in the days, the teachers just closed their door, uh, set a little table out front, gave out little spider rings and things like that. And the moms walked around selling popcorn and candy. It was very simple, but it was the beginning of great things, right? Wow. Ah, there we are. That's room 16, the superheroes at a Halloween carnival. I love the spirit. I love that. That's Mrs. Green there, our teacher on the left, who taught special education at our school for many years. And this is the team uh, working yes. with all the boys and girls in her class, right? Yes. Oh, the Dodgers came to visit. We've had many guests at Carpenter. We had a uh, field trip to Bill, uh, Bill Nye's house, who he lives around the corner. Um, this is the Dodgers. They came to visit. They had such history and such wonderful uh, stories to share, uh, playing with Jackie Robinson, things like that. It was fantastic. And they were just wonderful, wonderful people to talk oh, to. Oh, I remember that day. That was a special day for sure. <laughs> Mrs. Tuwil was getting a little tired of people chewing on their pencils, so she asked me to do something for all her little pencil rats, she called them in the room. 
And uh, this made a big splash. The kids kind of liked it. So that's some of the artwork we've done over and, the years. And did it work? Did it, did it get the kids to stop chewing those pencils? I, I think so. I think right. it did work. <laughs> uh, Mr. Lapidus, uh, as you know, we, um, we've lost uh, Mr. Lapidus, I guess, last year. Wonderful fifth grade teacher. It was a pleasure working with him in the room. A lot of fun. And we became close friends as well. Um, and uh, this is a tile that we put in the hallway. You guys could all see the tiles. There are other tiles for teachers who have left and retired and, and moved on. Uh, I managed to paint a few of them, but uh, this is my favorite because Mr. Lapidus really had hands on in, in helping me out with this one. Okay. So, so you consulted with him and then did he oh, go absolutely. over a draft with you on that? Yes, he wanted to be wearing the tri-corner hat. He wanted Washington, D.C. His uh, origami, as you can see, the little origami yeah. uh, train that he made for all of us, and then the cherry blossoms. So if you haven't noticed these tiles before, uh, people that are watching this right now, they're in the main hall, really uh, near the office. Uh, and it's really for teachers that have had a significant impact on the school. So a longevity is part of that. Uh, and Mr. Lapidus clearly was somebody who worked at our school for, for many, many years and gave his heart and soul to the school. And so uh, he will forever be remembered in our halls with that beautiful tile that Deborah uh, painted there. Oh, I just have to give the P.S. The Scotch Mallows were in there. His favorite oh, candy. And, and that's right there on the, the Scotch Mallows. He was and a he big fan of the Seas yeah. Candy Scotch Mallows. He's candy. And then the Vic Awards that he won with his students. Oh, that's right. There's the Vic right there. Wow, you got everything in there on that. Yes, I had to. <laughs> and, talk to and tell us about this. To, to me, this also <laughs> summarizes your whole career right here. I think that, yeah, this is one of my faves. And I do have this up in my... my uh, room. Um, this was Dr. Seuss as we celebrate Dr. Seuss Day and we were just going to simply pose for a picture and someone's going to take it all the kids just jumped on me and just it was just so much fun. They were so excited and um, it just says it all. I love well, them. So and from those kids to us today we all say thank you <laughs> Mrs. Field for thank 32 you. outstanding years of service to the Carpenter community. Uh, bravo. Thank you so much. Uh, we talked earlier, Deborah, that you have three kids. Uh, tell us about your kids yeah. and what they're doing now. Uh, my oldest, Justin, has a restaurant. He's a chef in Salt Lake City. Uh, struggling a little bit right now, but they're reopening and, and getting back to, to it. And uh, he's wonderful. He's doing great. Um, and then I have Andrew, who is uh, he's a scientist at Harvard and uh, working on gene sequencing. He's uh, doing well too. Um, and Hannah's a teacher. She's a third grade teacher at Reseda Elementary, inspired by her third grade teacher, Miss Wynn, who she thought was going to be famous someday, so saved everything Miss Wynn ever signed. Wow. <laughs> and Hannah and Miss Wynn, they're friends today, which is really nice. Miss Wynn and her are still friends and visit with us. Very good. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing that. Jake, I'll let you take over. All right, I have a question. What will you miss most about working at Carpenter? Oh, Mr. Martinez's morning messages, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I would miss uh, doing the art projects with the kids. I enjoyed that so much. Having them share their day with me, their smiles in the morning, uh, the wonderful teachers and staff, uh, Mr. Freddie's health, <laughs> and definitely I will miss uh, walking the track and being called field trip. <laughs> All right, Nathan, you have a question for her? Yeah. Um, do you have any final thoughts you'd like to share? Yes, Nathan, I do. I wrote a little something. It's quick. I want to thank Mr. Martinez for making work days fun and always taking a personal interest in my day. I want to thank the teachers who have opened their rooms to me, sharing laughter, joys and struggles. The office staff, always a welcoming, always helpful and a warm place. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Freddie. Thank you. I have been uh, a member of the Carpenter community for 32 years as a parent volunteer with three children and then as a staff member. I am proud of Carpenter's achievements. I watched it grow and I have made many lifelong friends there, so with my children. 
um, as it was then, it takes a village and we're learning that today. It's very evident today. <laughs> I would like to leave you with a little quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it's for everyone. These are simple, okay. Be silly, be honest, and be kind. These are simple words with a powerful message. Be silly, remain joyful, happy with yourself in life. Be honest, people will trust you. Be kind, create harmony with your relationships. These three behaviors in everyone on our planet would create peace on earth, don't you think? With love, stay safe, and I guess I'll see you at Gelson's or Trader Joe's. I'll be around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Steele. Uh, let me just tell everybody uh, watching, you, you may be retiring from us, but uh, uh, if you happen to go into a William Sonoma in Beverly Hills, uh, you <laughs> may run into Mrs. Field. Uh, who will continue. Again, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if they uh, open again. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, listen, the success of our school over the years in large part is, deal, is due to the volunteerism that we have on our campus. And uh, nobody epitomizes that volunteerism more than you, Mrs. Field. So thank you so much for your dedication and your loyalty to the school. Thank you, sir. It's All right. Pleasure. Are you guys ready for the words of wisdom? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here okay. we go. And now for the words of wisdom. Many athletes know that even when they practice hard and do their best, they don't always win. While winning is fun, you can gain valuable experience simply by just doing your best. Listen to these words. You can't win all the time. As long as you're doing the best you can, that's important. That's good advice. Ask yourself today am I doing my best if the answer is yes congratulations you're already a winner with something to think about this is mr. Martinez and Nathan and Jake and mrs. field make it a great day or, or not. Not. the choice is yours everybody we want you to have a wonderful day of school mrs. field thank you so much for joining us this morning all Thanks. the best uh, Nathan, great job. We'll see you next Tuesday. Jake, I look forward to seeing you bright and early tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah. All right, everybody have a wonderful day at school. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye.